Hey there, everyone. This is Al Cow playing CLDC 2020 Chocolate. <laughs> Russian man is getting really excited about the concept of chocolate and ended up with 27th place. We're just going right here to the usual screen. Nice. I don't know why he's so excited about nice, but everyone loves to feel nice once in a while. Is that true? Probably. I don't know, man. Nietzsche. So, um, rules and story, and oh, it might be a red- like, I don't know if it's a real red level. Well, there's two houses next to it. Alright, let's learn about the rules, and this feels important. Luigi jumps higher, and Mario can spin jump. Use brother's abilities to get back home for that tasty pizza. You can swap between Mario and Luigi with LRR, but only when grounded. Check it out! Oh, he has a bad jump, okay, but then do that. But you can do that. All right. See, that's why checking out the rules is good. Once upon a time, my Luigi was taking a walk. Whoa! Incredible. And then they got sunk. <laughs> that is pretty cheap. Oh man! First sinking, then teleporting. It's a bad day for the brothers. Luigi's afraid. Mamma mia! Mamma mia! Whoa, oh, I see. Their heads is who's speaking. I mean, context was good enough, but okay. Oh, man. Yeah, that's why there's a timer. Oh, is one of the bad ending? Like, is it bad ending? The pizza's gone? Maybe. For the pizza. See, that's how you get Luigi excited. All right, let us go. Uh, uh go. Go, pistachio. Pistachio is what I meant to say, but letters end up in the wrong order. All right, Lost Brothers. Starring Mario as Mario. So you see that and you're like, I can't get that. And then this guy gets it, and then Mario gets the credit. Oh, but they share power-up state. Alright. Brothers, share everything a little bit, and now we got a switch. Yeah, see, we're getting, we're seeing what this is all about. Here we go, you go inside this pipe, you can't. You're like, whoa, I don't know what the blue means. I really don't. I mean, I guess it just means that. Hey, he did it. Then you can go like, whoosh! Whoa, that's a fast little pizzeria you got there. Well, I still need a spin jump, it feels like. It's like, yeah, I see, like, the world is still dangerous and full of cream. You don't want to get involved with cream. Watch out about the creamery. El and arrow, I guess that's, oh, that's swim. Oh, and that falls. All right, I've learned something today. Don't trust crime. Can you, but you need to be grounded. Is there like, okay, so that's not where, uh, is that supposed to just be like, yeah, yeah, we're not, oh, then I switched to Mario, and I, and I spin bounce on him, okay. It took me a, it took me a little bit to find out, oh, my lives didn't change. Luigi, direction, so like, yeah, oh, that's solid to me. But like, I don't know, man, I don't read arrows being something... Solid at anyone. All right. Anyways, I did the jump bad, but I got over, and that's what matters. There we go. We bouncing, and then we're over here. Okay. I got like whap like that, and then I go like whoa. I guess I was supposed to spin jump on the thing. I don't know. I guess my tell was the lack of coin trail this time. I'm gonna decode, Russian man. Dude. Like, yeah, that's what you're supposed to do. Alright, big beefy jump. Then. I pressed the button, I swear! I swear I pressed the tag! Maybe I didn't land yet? Like, I wasn't fully landed somehow? Nice jump. Yeah, so I think I was like, either I pressed an arrow or something, or I wasn't like, fully grounded on the platform. What? Why did you baboop? <laughs> Man! I guess I wasn't fully on the platform. Making sure to like drop all inputs. Been pressing L or R. Not something I'm super used to doing. Uh, I was supposed to wait for a thing to fall there or something, right? I just went because there's things above my head. 
Yeah, like it just it takes me too long to manually switch my hand around to where it needs to be. It's not something you'll often think about, and it's not something you can expect the players to really the Alright, so now we camp here. Oh, we're so Ugh, I thought that it would fall earlier and then I would escape, but no, it's that's not what happens. Yeah, you can clearly see that they're falling at different speeds. There we go. Probably a Luigi eating. Probably Luigi. Oh, that's not somewhere I can stand on. Good to know. I guess. I mean, yeah. If it would, if it would have just been the dotted blocks, I would have understood. But because there was a bridge underneath, I didn't know. Like I hesitated for like a fourth of a second. But you know, when you're in midair, careening through a pit. A fourth of a second is plenty. Okay, so it's the exact same sprite setups as here, so that's on me. But I guess I just didn't internalize a little bridge graphic used underneath them. And again, that's all on me. That is not the author's fault, but it is what happened. Shoot! I... Nah, okay, it's with my finger cross up. I... No, I, I I thought I would have pressed the button while I was in midair, so I pressed it twice. But turns out I was uh, yeah. Well, you saw what happened. This level is hard not because of the setup necessarily, but it's because of the strangely demanding for me, like finger dexterity. It's not working out. Switch though. Oh, then a guy shows up at some point. Okay, good to know. And that's just the midpoint. All right. Well, I'm glad there's a midpoint. Um, what am I looking at here? Oh, you glide through these? Sure. I guess this might be a Luigi situation. You do something like that, and then you make it through, and then you're all right. Sounds like it. Here, you probably actually want Mario because he jumps not as high. Oh, whoops. Or, oh, you know what? It's fine. <laughs> uh, uh, okay, no, that's not it. Okay, we're here, it wants an A, so. Okay, so I go here, slide, and then I don't know. Uh huh. I can't switch in the bubble. As I expected. Alright, so now we do that. Uh -huh, I see. Now we can do like... Wow, what a beautiful bounce you did off of the skeleton, Luigi. That was very impressive. Okay. No, I think that is what I'm supposed to do. It's just that I'm doing it bad. Got it. Whoops. None of that was planned. There we go. Arrow. Uh, uh, I was supposed to switch to Mario. What? No, and then I... That's my mistake. I jump up into the arrows. Big jump. Get stuck somewhere, then fall off. Good. through the egg there. That's the kind of feature I love. 
Like, I, I don't know. Yo, cool. Dude. It's the cool place, rank E9. Alright, okay. So I think I was overthinking. Okay, I see what's going on here. Here we go. There's a Zanel to make you realize what you want to make happen. This is scary because it's new and I can't duck in here and I'm dead. Yeah, yeah, just dying. One obstacle. You make it to the next obstacle, you die. Now you know. And then I'm gonna make it past that obstacle and die. And then I'll know. It's not level's fault. I'm just bad today. I feel like I'm making the level look a lot harder than it is, but that's just how it is, man. What? God damn, like... You do need a bit of a running. Okay, all right. Yeah, hang out up there at some point. There you go. Yeah, I, uh, it's like I said, got past the obstacle, get killed by the next obstacle. You can't jump at all, I guess, when you're inside, stuck inside the triangles. Like, I never really got to experience being inside a triangle while also being on the ground. So I thought that it was a thing about you want to get the statue to jump over you, but the statue won't jump either. So, what is it? I think you need to just know to surge forward? Which is cool, I guess. I knew it. I knew Alright, so this one... Don't overcomplicate it. Keep dying, because I'm trying to make it too calm. Just do that. Just do that. One fell swoop. That's all you need to do. Uh, dude. Well, okay. Well, I didn't expect a donk, so... Ooh, you're big. That's exciting. I don't think that's that big of an advantage, because that's going to make this weirder. Well, sure did. Placement there was not ideal. So do this, then you're up here, and you're like, whoa. I know, right? Whoa. Big jump here. Yeah, like, you need to, like, just know and glide underneath where to... Jesus Christ, I'm so done with just instantly dying every time I cross a new obstacle. Nice hop, just the absolute best. No wonder I played Mario World for years. Those are so reliable. Bounce the kiss the now. Nice. Might just be because I'm not used to it. Ugh. Alright, so you go here, you have to do that, do that. I think I might want to be you so I can like spin. I touch the face of the statue, which removed my spin jump status immediately as a fireball appeared underneath me. I am just kind of done. Right, and then I can just do the you switch to you. I am completely... Alright, so there I'm punished for the audacity of looking at the screen. Yeah, you're right. I should be mercilessly murdered for that. You're correct. Why? Why? I don't know. I, if I hadn't moved left, I would have lived. I didn't, because I'm barely there. I'm barely conscious about what I'm doing. If things are not happening in the way I'm expecting, in the pre-programmed way that I'm playing this automatically, 
I just freeze and die. I do not have the ability to react because I am barely actually even deciding on what I am doing as I'm playing. I'm just acting out short-term habits that I have built up over the last not quite hour. Any deviation leads to instant termination. Because again, I'm not actually playing. It is all essentially motor reflexes. So I am playing as in it is my body which is playing. But there is nary a conscious thought. That is just... So next screen, you gotta like, get underneath there. There you go, you just gotta figure that one out. What are you showing me? Okay. So what has to happen is I do that, then I get here, and then the skeleton go on vacation. Oh, that's... Do you think they'll come back? I can't scroll the screen, because that's how I tag out. But how does that work? There was no way to hit that as Mario, especially not in the spin jump. Cool. Cool. Just absolute cool. Yep. That again. No, no, no. Yeah, we lose a skeleton. Happens. Okay, hey, by the way. Oops, I found another one. Pretty wild. I feel like I'm just gonna start finding a lot more of those. Just a weird. Ah, no, no, no. Nope. Just a weird feeling I have. What? Another invisible monkey? Man, like I'm saying. There's like a ton of them now. Alright, so this is... it's that. Now I understand. Then we cross over to the screen, and it doesn't even end? It's not even like an end? I got a bad ending? Oh, I got a bad ending. I got the bad ending, guys. So how do you get... oh, it's just a speed thing? Well, I guess you guys are eating Asha... Find a secret egg. I've been playing for an hour. I had a lot of fun for the first half. I, I legitimately had a lot of fun for the first half. Second half killed me. And I think you can tell. I think I don't need to ex- This is- it's just- like, I, I don't hate it. I think it's really neat, but it's just too hard for me. And I do not have it in me to look. If anyone wants to spell out where a second exit is that I need to find somehow, cool. I don't guarantee that I'll do it, but I'd like to know. Russian man, no, like, don't take my attitude, like, I, I, it's just too hard for me, and I thought I could grind it out, and I was wrong. And that's how we get results like this, I'm sorry.